welcome to the Wicked Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you a really simple porridge recipe. I'm going to do an apple, cinnamon, and date. It takes less than 15 minutes. Uh, it's something I make up when I'm on the rush and I want to eat healthier. So let's get right to it. So I'll make this for two people. And I'm adding about a cup half a quarter pint. So um, you guys, I'm really a little bit of messed up because I live in the UK, but I'm US, so my measurements are still confusing. So I'm gonna say this is about a quarter of a pint, which is like a <laughs> almost a quarter of a cup, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna add this right to a bowl. But I'm gonna do like two, almost three to one, okay? So three to one. You gotta remember that that porridge is gonna totally soak it up and expand. So I'm just gonna add this right to the porridge. Oops. All right. And then I'm gonna set this aside and let it soak for a minute. What I'm gonna do is take a couple dates, and these dates, they are a little bit dry. They're pitted already, but they are a little bit drier. So I'm gonna take about six dates, right? And I'm gonna just slice them up quick. Now, I like the dates to be a little bit moist, so what I'm gonna do is add this right to the, the oats. And let that soak. What makes this really fresh and unique is by taking the apples. It's kind of like an apple pie oatmeal. I'm gonna slice. All right. Set them up, set up the pieces here. I'm gonna use two apples. And one I'm gonna save for special. So I really like to use cast iron pan. You can use any kind of pan you like. It has a nice even heat to it, a nice weight to it. It just makes cooking very easy for myself, so. I'd like it to be really easy for you as well. While the porridge is soaking, I'm gonna just dice this. We're gonna saute these with a little bit of cinnamon, brown sugar, and a touch of vanilla, which will give it a nice little extra added flavor. So, we have our apples diced, just a little bit. Just to coat the pan. You add your apples right to it. So what we're gonna do is caramelize the apples and we're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, so it's just like an apple pie. I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of brown sugar, another half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Not too much. I'm just gonna cook that down. While that's cooking, I'm just gonna stir up the oats. So when we get finished the apples and the oats are ready, I'm gonna have it, we're gonna put a little bit of side of banana on top of it. And for the apple, that extra piece, what I wanna do is use this as a garnish. It's the little touches that will make it special for who, whoever you want to cook for. So this is almost done. It takes literally about three, four minutes to cook the apples. And I'm gonna add some raisins to it. Maybe, you know, I like raisins, so you could add 
I'm not picky with how much you add or how much I add. So I add about a couple, two, three tablespoons or a half handful. And then I'm also adding some pumpkin seeds. So pumpkin seeds are really high in protein. So again, I add another couple tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. The vanilla, I'm gonna add like half a teaspoon, just a drip. And that gives it that added flavor here. All right, so the key now, I'm gonna save some of this apple mixture that's cooked already. Just about that much. And that's gonna go on the top. And then I'm gonna take the oats and add them right to this pan, okay? Because there's a little bit of water still in here and they're still soaking up, I'm gonna add them right to this pan. And this is gonna incorporate the flavor so much more so than just having the apples on top. Nice. It looks beautiful, it's coming together really nicely. Now, you can let it go for longer and you can have more of a, a stiffer texture. I like mine to be a little bit wetter on the wet side because as, you, as it sits there, it's just continually gonna be soaking up the water and the flavors. So, here we go. To finish off this dish, I think a little bit of the banana. Apple. All right, so now that we added the apple, if you have some fresh mint around, uh, it just adds that extra pop. Just a piece of mint here, It'd be beautiful. Gives it that extra special touch. Finish it off with the apple. Let's put it right here. Okay. Maybe I put the mint on before I should have. You know, we all make mistakes. Wicked easy, you guys. And there you have the, our famous apple pie porridge. It is delicious, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Oh, sorry. I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. It's like, all right, now let me just press record later. I'm rolling now. Okay. Everybody. Rolling.